friends good evening all today i would like to discuss about basic management principles of fracture regarding basic management principles it include three r reduction retention and rehabilitation otherwise these three questions is fracture position acceptable or does it need to be reduced this is very important in fracture opd setting is fracture position acceptable or does it need to be reduced if there is no displacement then no need of reduction this is the basic point if there is no displacement then you don't apply traction or counter traction to that particular affected part as it causes other complications so is fracture position acceptable then no need of reduction otherwise it should be reduced regarding dislocation the first thing to be kept regarding dislocation is check an x-ray to find out whether there is fracture if there is fracture then surely we should avoid attempting reduction otherwise it may cause damage to the affected joint if there is fracture along with dislocation then you should not attempt reduction this is the second thing the other question to be asked the first question is to be find out whether there is reduction needed or not the second question is is fracture stable or does it need to be held whether retention or immobilization or bandage is needed in this particular condition this is the second question and the third question when can the patient begin to use and move the limb regarding rehabilitation it can be precisely we can call it as reduce hold and move and this movement is very important and it should be judicious and it should be at the it should start from the very first day of consultation itself the rehabilitation should start from the very first day of consultation itself even if it's an injury i will explain more regarding rehabilitation at the time of rehabilitation explaining rehabilitation this is the basic principle reduction retention and rehabilitation and first two is to be added only if necessary but rehabilitation always necessary this is the basic point regarding basic management principles coming to the reduction reduction includes traction counter traction and correction traction counter traction and correction is the principle of reduction in susrada samhita ada avanadam unnam med unnadam cha avabide aanjeya tadishiptam ado gatam cha upari varte this particular process is regarding reduction reduction methods and regarding reduction first you should keep in mind reduction techniques are highly specific and it should be done gently to each particular displacement it is specific to each particular joint it is specific and it should be done gently before and after a x ray investigation is must in all reduction methods if it's a dislocation or if we are reducing a fracture with displacement in all conditions before and after x ray is must to check whether our reduction is proper or not in colis fracture immediately after the reduction we should take one check x ray on the first and second review also we should take check x ray to ensure our reduction is proper and further displacement does not occur so that it is must in all conditions before and after x ray is must and as per specific conditions it should change this is regarding reduction coming to immobilization we can use three techniques for immobilization one is external spindish what we are doing our method of immobilization is with external spindish second one is internal spindish orthopedic surgeons are doing this particular technique in needed cases internal spindish is not needed in all cases if conservative line of management or closed manipulative reduction is not possible 
In such conditions, internal springage is needed. For that, K wire, for plates, such things, metal screws are using for internal springage. Third option is continuous traction. In femur shaft fracture or tibia fracture, we are using this particular continuous traction method. It can be either bone traction or skin traction. This continuous traction is a method of immobilization. These three techniques can be incorporated as part of immobilization in which we are using external spinach. Coming to immobilization, various modalities are used. It includes bandage, splints, we can use bamboo splints or malleable aluminum splints or metallic splints. Or you can use wooden splints also. I am actually using aluminum splints which are malleable which we can change the shape according to affected joint. Then POP slabs, that means half cast bandage and complete POP cast, complete POP cast. Internal fixation which are surgical and specific regional orthosis can also be incorporated. 